Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my wash and go hair routine. So yeah, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm freshly out of the shower, as you guys can tell. So the first thing I do is part my hair into two. And then I'm going to mist my hair with this Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment 100% Virgin Coconut Oil. And I'm going to make sure that I spray it all over my hair and make sure I get the ends because like I say in all of my videos, they're the driest. Then I'm going to be applying this mousse by Vigo Roll. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but yeah. So I'm going to be applying it all over my hair, well one side first and then to really make sure that all my hair is has like enough product, I'm going to be splitting it into pieces as you guys are going to be able to see in the video. And I really like this mousse because it gives me enough hold and it doesn't make my hair hard or crunchy or anything like that or it doesn't weight it down either because it's very very um, light, it's not like a cream which will weight it down. Um, and it also is very very cheap. And you guys know I really like, I'm like a sucker for cheap products that actually work. So yeah, that's, that's like the number one thing why I like it. Okay, once I finish one side, I apply more mousse if it's needed. Like that part right there, I'm applying more because it looks a little dry. Then I go, with, go in with my SIM Curling Hansen Smoothie and I apply it all over my hair. Well, the side that I just finished applying the mousse to. Then I'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side of my hair. And the reason why I like to split it into two and then into pieces as I go is so I can really make sure that my hair has enough products. I hate when my wash and go doesn't come out looking nice because I don't have enough products on my hair. It's, I, I hate it. I hate that. So I like to make sure that I apply enough product. Not too much but not too little. So yeah. You just gotta know your hair basically um, to know how much product to apply. So once I'm done applying the mousse, I'm gonna go in with my SIM Curling Hansen Smoothie and applying it all over that side as well. Basically repetition. The same thing I did to the other side. So yeah. Once I'm done with applying all the hair products, I go back and I do some finger curling. Just a little bit where I see my hair is just looking not too nice. <laughs> just to give my hair some defined curls, you know? And again, I'm doing it to each side. I'm not doing my whole hair. I'm just doing a few little strings, you know? Then once I'm done with that, I just sit and relax and wait for it to air dry. Once it's air dried, I, I don't normally do this. I don't use a diffuser all the time. I just do it sometimes every blue, blue, blue moon. And I'm letting you guys know here, I, I'm using it on medium. And um, my hair was almost technically kind of dry. I normally kind of do, just do this to kind of give my hair some volume um, if I feel like it's needed. And yeah. I'm just doing it a little bit, I'm not doing it a lot. Like I said, I don't really like putting heat in my, on my hair. So that's why I technically don't like using a diffuser that much. Then before I'm done, I change the temperature to cold. And last but not least, I'm going to use a wide tooth comb and I'm going to flip my hair and I'm just going to do the little motion you see me doing now all over my hair, basically to give my hair more volume. I'm not putting the comb through my hair all the way, I'm just kind of lifting the hair on the hairs on the roots to just kind of give it some volume. 
Okay, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And see you guys in my next video. Bye!